Hey YouTube, it's Alan. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to tell you about a really surreal and cool experience I've had lately, which has to do with some art that I made. Um, perhaps some of you have already seen it. It's gone like a little bit viral. Um, so just to end the suspense, the art that I made last week and have shared online is this. Sorry about the glare. Um, this art that I made of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford because I was feeling so upset and appalled by just the whole entire process around her... Um, her accusation of Brett Kavanaugh and um, people's treatment of her, by which I mean Republicans' lack of believing of her account. And I was just so absolutely disgusted and appalled at Kavanaugh's testimony, if you could even call it that because he was so evasive and rude and somewhat out of control. I mean, it's like he did not even answer the questions. He obviously just totally evaded answering them in very rude ways um, and turned the questions back on the questioners, like... Are you insane? Who does that? And it's such a high level of the legal system. Are you kidding me? Like, how could he... I don't see how anyone on the planet could take him seriously or respect him. It's just... It, it boggles the mind. I, it... I, I have no words for how just insane and awful that was. At any rate, I, I've just been feeling so much respect and admiration for Dr. Ford that she had the courage to come forward and tell her story. I mean, not that she intended to make it public, understandably, but, you know, ultimately she, she did, you know, face the Senate and everything, and she did tell her story, even if that wasn't her initial intention to make it public. Um, and, I mean, when she did her testimony, I could see how hard it was for her to talk about these things in front of a largely uh, hostile audience. And, I mean, I, I could see the emotion and pain she was feeling, and um, it made me think of all the women, like friends or, or partners that I have known personally who have had experiences in some way similar to hers, and I've seen their pain, and, um, and then of course I could relate to an extent. Now, although by luck I have never experienced any physical violence or sexual assault or, I mean, I haven't even really experienced any harassment, thankfully, um, I can still relate to a degree because being born as female and living as female until I was age 31 like four years ago, I definitely have experienced just the fear of realizing that there's totally potential for those bad things to happen. And um, there's definitely potential for uh, facing harassment at the very least. Um, so I have experienced what it's like to be on the receiving end of that uh, just the misogynist power dynamics of our 
sexist and patriarchal society. So, yeah, so I could connect to a degree on a gut level, and um, it just our... Just our misogynist society, just, oh my god. It just makes me so mad and upset. Now, I've kind of gone off on this, uh, rant. It's not quite a rant, but anyway, let me get back to the topic of my art. So, I was feeling all these things, and I was feeling so much frustration. Uh, and I felt powerless. Like, what can I do to help this situation? Nothing, because there are corrupt politicians who aren't even listening to the information. And the Republican administration and the FBI aren't even pursuing appropriate witnesses. So it's like, what can I do? Nothing. I was so upset and felt such admiration for Dr. Ford. And so I was like, what can I do? I just need to, like, express some of this. So I just kind of like had uh, sort of visions of images in my mind that I could create in the form of art. So I thought, well, yeah, I want to do this and I want to share it just so that I can contribute to the voices of frustration and voices of support for Dr. Ford. So anyway, um, I did this art, uh, like I did sketches and some tracing and stuff, and uh, ultimately I, I did it on the computer with Adobe Illustrator, which I've only started to learn in the last, like, four weeks, because I've been taking uh, a one-unit class at the college uh, where I go. Um, it's about web design, but so far we've only learned... Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, and then in the next few weeks, we're actually going to get into stuff that has to do with websites. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so I had no idea what graphic design even was. Well, I mean, I had some idea, but I didn't know exactly what graphic design was, and I didn't really know, like it never occurred to me that you could use these computer tools to just do cool art that you feel like doing. I thought, Graphic design, oh, that means, like, I don't know, like, making advertisements or decorations for websites. Like, I didn't think of it as an art form. But then now that I've been exposed to graphic design, I'm like, whoa, my world has changed. Like, I totally love it. Like, it really feels like it could be my thing. And it's really not that hard. Um, yeah, so I've been kind of blown away. So it's like all of a sudden I've been doing some art projects. Like I did a Photoshop project for a friend of mine. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I, I did this art on the computer and, um, I just did kind of what I had envisioned in my mind. And it has a red background, and somebody online said, oh, don't make it a red background. But it, I don't, like, I don't want it to be connected to the red and blue colors of the political parties. Like, the bad people shouldn't have a monopoly on the color red. I chose red just because that's how I saw it. It just felt right to me. So, uh... Yeah, although I might make another version with a blue background. Why not? Why not have multiple versions? Um, so anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Let me tell the story of what happened with this art. So I shared it on Facebook publicly, although only my friends saw it, because people aren't going to just randomly find me. Um, but my friends really liked it, which... Um, which was a great compliment to me. And then I shared it on my local Women's March Facebook page, and, like, uh, ultimately a few hundred people liked it, and a bunch of them commented on it. So that felt really amazing. 
And um, I also shared it on the Pantsuit Nation Facebook group or page. And it took a couple of days for it to actually be posted. But, oh man, that was totally crazy and overwhelming. Like, at this point, the half, like, I guess, yeah, half a week later, like, around 50,000 people have liked it. And, like, uh, I'm thousands, maybe, have commented on it. And then thousands of people have shared either that one or the public post on my own Facebook page. Um, it's so surreal. I mean, I've never been in any situation that's involved that much, like, uh, publicity. Um, it's just amazing, like, to hear these really kind comments about my work, and then also tons of comments in support of Dr. Ford, and it's just really encouraging and inspiring and amazing, and, um, yeah, wow, it's just really cool to be a part of this community, basically, of people who support Dr. Ford and support the cause of women and who believe women. Quick side note, I'm emphasizing women here because I view this whole situation as totally sexist and misogynist. So I know that anybody of any sex or gender could be a victim or a survivor of sexual assault or rape, and I totally recognize that and honor that, but I do, I'm just emphasizing the like sexist aspects of this situation with Dr. Ford, like where people essentially don't believe her because she's a woman. So that's why I emphasize women. Um, anyway, so a lot of people expressed a desire to get like stickers of my art or posters or t-shirts, which is really uh, flattering. And I, wow. So I have made my design available online on Redbubble, where you can order it on just about anything. Shirts, stickers, posters, other stuff as well. Um, so I'll put the link to that in the description area below if anyone is interested. Um, I'm not trying to push it, I'm just mentioning it because like I said, a lot of people have expressed that they wanted that stuff. Um, Anyway, that pretty much covered my story. Uh, yeah, I just felt like sharing it with you, because why not? Um, oh yeah, so I might create some designs for like stickers and stuff in the future, because my eyes have been open to the possibilities, because I never really realized, oh, you can make a design that you like and get it printed on anything, a sticker or whatever. So I'm like, oh, I could do like LGBT related designs or like trans related designs or designs for other things that I'm interested in, like outdoorsy stuff. And I could then get stickers that I specifically want. And, and um, you know, so if I do like LGBT ones, I'll keep you guys updated and you could get them if you want. So um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you later. Bye.